Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to determine your heading to fly to a VOR. So before I get into this, um, when you're actually in an airplane and you've got a VOR tuned up on your nav radio uh, and you get your CDI uh, that you can easily spin the OBS knob, very easy to determine what radial you're on. Uh, you just spin the CDI needle till you get a from indication. And then if you rotate another 180 degrees to a two indication, you know what heading you need to fly. And you just basically turn your plane in that direction and fly to it. However, when you're studying and getting prepared for your instrument FAA knowledge test, often they'll give you some pictures of some planes uh, and, and say, based on the CDI indication, which plane represents uh, the CDI uh, set of circumstances. And that can be confusing to figure out. And so that's what I'll go over here is how to easily figure out which heading you need to fly to, to a VOR by just reading um, a CDI indication in terms of the flag and the to or from indicator. So um, the easiest way to go about this is just look at the quadrant the flag and needle point to on the course deviation indicator. It sounds a little um, easier said than done, but it really is very easy. Um, then once you've done that, just fly towards any heading in that particular quadrant that the flag and needle point to. If more than five miles away from the VOR, then fly the midpoint angle between the far ends of the quadrant. For example, the 45 degree angle in the direction of that particular quadrant uh, that you've determined that you need to fly towards. So we'll go through an example here. Uh, so again, to find what quadrant the flag and needle point to on the course deviation indicator instrument, see this example one here. And we've got a flag off to our left and we see a two indication. So first thing we're gonna do is cover the bottom half of the CDI needle so that the top half with the uh, two flag indicator is display. So we're going to be flying to the VOR. Next, cover the right upper quadrant of the CDI to leave only the upper portion of the CDI needle exposed, which is off to the uh, left or northwest. Then fly any heading in the direction of the remaining exposed area on the CDI. So as you can see by the plane, uh, we have a heading toward the northwest. And if we're more than five miles away from the VOR, then we're gonna fly the midpoint angle between the far ends of the quadrant. For example, in this uh, example here, we're gonna fly ahead of about 310. Now we'll do one more, example two. Again, to find what quadrant the flag and needle point to on the course deviation indicator instrument, we're gonna look at this example two. In this case, we see a two indication as well, and we see the flag, however, off to the right, or the, the needle off to the right. Again, we're gonna cover the bottom half of the CDI needle, so that the top half with the two flag indicator is displayed. Then we're gonna cover the left upper quadrant of the CDI to leave the, only the upper portion of the CDI needle exposed off to the right. So that tells us uh, that we need to fly to the Northeast. Uh, so we can position our plane to fly any direction in that Northeast quadrant. And again, if we're more than five miles away, we will uh, fly a heading of about 040 in this example uh, to basically hit the midpoint. Uh, towards that VOR. Now the last part of this is determining your position relative to a VOR. Again, on the written instrument uh, test, they'll show you again um, a CDI uh, situation or scenario and show you several um, airplanes and say which one represents um, the indication on the CDI. And using what we just learned, it's very easy to now know your position relative to the VOR. So again, if we know which way to fly to a VOR, then it's easy to know our position to the VOR. Our position is simply the opposite quadrant we need to fly towards the VOR. So again, based on example two that we just went over, our aircraft is southwest of the VOR and we are flying on a heading of 040. So we simply look at all those uh, several um, airplanes that they show on the, the written exam. And based on going through this process, we would be able to select the right airplane and ultimately the right answer uh, for that test question. So that's all there is to um, knowing how to fly easily toward a VOR and to know your position relative to a VOR. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so you get notified of my next video.